Hello everyone, in this video, I will go over my solution to the problem named seating arrangements. This problem is the hard version of the problem D from today's global round. And this is an excellent problem on greedy algorithms, sorting and implementation. So in this problem, we are basically given an n by m grid in which the numbers of the grid are from 1 to n into m and there are n into m people who want to go to this grid or basically to this cinema to watch a new film and they need to be seated in these uh, squares in the grid and the cell i comma j has the value m into i minus 1 plus 1 or m into i minus 1 plus j and we are basically given an array a which represents the site level of the ith person so basically the cell i comma j will be given by a of i into m minus 1 plus j so that will be the site level of the cell at i comma j and we need to assign places for these people such that for any two people who have a is less than a j their position in the grid should be less so the ith position should be less than the jth position if the site level of the ith person is less than the site level of the jth person and we need to find out the total inconvenience given to the people if the inconvenience of a particular person is equal to the number of occupied seats he has to go through and basically the path which he traverses to reach his uh, the seat i is given by he goes to the seats row and then from the first seat in that row he goes to the jth column so he goes to the i row and then to the jth column so basically he traverses the cells in the i row from left to right till he reaches the jth column and the number of uh, visited cells which he visited which he passes through is the inconvenience faced by him so we need to minimize the total inconvenience which every person has so for example let's say n is 1 and m is 2 and let's say n is 1 and m is 2 and these are the two places so then it's obvious that the only possible arrangement is 1 comma 2 and in that case the first person is sitting in the first place the second person is sitting in the second place so the first person goes here and the second person has to traverse the first cell and face an inconvenience of 1 so that's why the answer is 1 and for the second example the optimal seating looks like this so basically um, this is the optimal seating and basically the first person has zero inconvenience the second person has zero inconvenience the third person has zero inconvenience the fourth person also has zero inconvenience and so on all the people have zero inconveniences that's why the answer is zero and in the third case in this optimal seating you can verify that the inconvenience is equal to 4 and I'll be showing you one more example which is this uh, test case and over here in this test case we have the um, this array A which represents the site levels of each of the people and the expected output is 0 so let's see what is the seating arrangement so for this particular uh, example the seat I'm using zero based indexing so this is important even in my code I'll be using zero based indexing so the grid is numbered 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 0 comma uh, 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 c comma 0 and c comma 1 and these are the numbers of the uh, seven people in eight people in the grid from 0 through 7 and it's optimal so first we need to place the lowest number in the first seat so we place it over there then it's optimal to put a 0 over here then a 2 over here then a 1 over here then a 4 over here then a 3 over here and I mean not a 4 because 4 is already there so a 5 over here or 3 over here a 7 over here and a 6 over here and in this way you can verify that the answer is actually going to be 0 and you can verify that this is the correct output and the reason why we chose this particular seating arrangement is because so how did we choose the seating arrangement so the criteria for sorting or basically for choosing the seating arrangement is first the site levels so we'll sort the array a 
first by increasing order of the site levels. So we'll sort it by increasing order of site levels. And the second criteria which we met is that if the site levels were equal, we would also keep the seat number equal. So basically, if the position in the grid was zero, then zero would immediately come. Like seven would not come even though zero and seven have the same um, site level, zero would come first. So increasing order of site level and increasing order of the seat number when we are initially sorting it. So that was the initial sorting parameter when we do the first sort on array A. Then the second key idea is that for each row, so for each row, if you noticed, even in these examples, the two examples which they have given and in the example which I just wrote, we need to make sure that the numbers are in decreasing order of the seat number. So when the numbers are in decreasing order of the seat number, we get an optimal output and that is because if the seat numbers are decreasing, then when we are going from left to right, we are minimizing the number of collisions or basically we are minimizing the inconvenience if the uh, if for each row we are having the seat numbers in decreasing order. So for example, when the seat numbers are perfectly in decreasing order, then the inconvenience is zero. It's totally uh, zero. And when the inconvenience, uh, is, the inconvenience arises only because the seat numbers, uh, like some seat numbers are more than some seat numbers which are ahead of them. So basically we need to make sure that the seat numbers are in decreasing order for each row. So these are the two basic sorting parameters which you'll use. And then we can just navely compute the inconvenience for each cell. So navely compute the inconvenience for each cell i comma j. And after we do these two sorting parameters, I'll show in the code how we can implement the two sorting parameters which I just mentioned. And to find the inconvenience for each cell i comma j, we just find the number of cells i comma k uh, such that um, k is less than j because k comes before j and the site level of the i cell. So basically site level of the i comma j cell is greater than the site level of i comma k cell. And this is basically because if the site level of i comma j cell is greater than the site level of i comma k cell or not the site level, sorry, the seat number. So if the seat number of i comma j, so if the seat number of i comma j comes after the seat number of i comma k, then we know that we first had to fill i comma k. So i comma k is occupied. And because i comma k is occupied, we know that uh, we are going to get an inconvenience of one from the i comma k cell. So that's why the inconvenience will be the number of such cells. And now I'll show you the code using these three steps. So in the code for each test case, I take in the value of n and m and I take in the array a. I compute the two values, the position or basically the site level of the i comma j cell and the seat number of the i comma j cell. Then I sort by increasing order of grid i j and increasing order of seat number because that was the first step in our solution. Then I basically have a global variable answer which represents the total inconvenience. And for each row, so for each row i, we sort the row with the parameter which I just mentioned. So the second criteria is that for each row, we'll do by increasing order of the increasing order of the site level. So that is normal. And if the site levels are equal, we do by decreasing order of the seat numbers. So notice that the second parameter is the seat number. So we'll do decreasing order of the seat numbers. And that's the criteria by, by which we sort the i row. Then for each cell i comma j, we find the number of cells i comma k such that the seat number of the k cell i comma k cell is less than the seat number of i comma j cell. In that case, the inconvenience will increase by one. And that's why we increase the answer by one. In the end, we print the answer, 
which is the total inconvenience. And that's the full solution for this problem. So if you had any doubts in the solution, do leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this problem and my solution for this problem, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you.